Oh, we do have some. I was mistaken. <laughs> This evening, brethren, I wanted to consider some things concerning Jesus as the man, Christ Jesus. I'm going to begin in the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verses 2 through 5. It says, And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Now this evening I'm going to look at three different accounts found in the scriptures of, during Jesus' earthly ministry. And I believe that there are key pieces in, in these accounts that reflect on uh, Jesus being the man in heaven. The first account is the man that is healed by Jesus beside the pool of Bethesda. This is found in John chapter 5, verses 5 through 9. It says, And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. We learn something important about this man right away. He has hope. Mm -hmm. Even though the situation looks hopeless, there's only one person that's going to be healed. And it's going to be whoever gets to the water first. Mm -hmm. And this man doesn't have anyone to help him. But he's still there waiting because he has hope. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus arrives and he steps in to become the man, the infirmed one needed. He heals him, he forgives him of his sins, and now the man can testify of the great works of Jesus. He didn't know when he answered Jesus that he was speaking to the man, Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the man that we needed to take our sins away. Mm -hmm. We were dead in trespasses and sins and unable to walk in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Sin had marred us, making us undesirable and unprofitable to God. The blood of Jesus Christ makes us acceptable to God, and now we can enter into his work. Mm -hmm. Amen. The next account I want to look at is the woman with the issue of blood. This is found in Mark chapter 5, verses 25 through 29. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, had had, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touching his garment. For she said, If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. This woman had been suffering from this infirmity for twelve years. She had tried everything in her power to help herself, but nothing helped. She had spent everything that she had on physicians, but only grew worse and worse. But when she heard of Jesus, she believed. Mm -hmm. Jesus was the only man that could help this woman. Mm -hmm. She had no power to help herself, no authority. This time, she wasn't just trying Jesus as a last resort. She truly believed in him, and it was her faith that made her whole. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the only man that could take away sin and the effects of it. This woman would surely have been in a very weakened condition, it may have taken her a great effort on her part just to be there where Jesus was. But she exerted herself, and the Lord rewarded her for her efforts. Amen. The last account I want to consider tonight is the gathering demoniac. This is found in Mark chapter 5, verses 2 through 6. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had 
who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broke in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. Right away, we can see that a lot had gone into this man. It said that the, the name of the one who was possessing him was Legion. Mm -hmm. So there was, a, there was a lot of this unclean spirit in this man. And we can also see that many people tried to help him. They, they, they tried to tame him, but found that they couldn't. They tried to bind him to keep him from harming himself, but he was, un, he was uncontrollable. Mm -hmm. He had no control over his actions, thoughts, or where he went. Mm -hmm. It caused him to behave like a beast. A person who has a sound mind would not be living among the dead yeah. or cutting themselves. Living after the flesh will prevent us from having a sound mind, mm -hmm. without which we are unable to make sound judgments. We that are in Christ have the mind of Christ, which could not be more opposite than the condition this man was in. When Christ Jesus came and cast out the legion of demons that had been possessing the man, he was found clothed and in his right mind. What a great picture of the change that we experience when we are released from the bonds of sin. The man wanted to follow Jesus when he left, but Jesus told him to stay and publish abroad what great things the Lord had done for him. When sin is taken out of the way, we are profitable and useful to God. He will employ us to work in his kingdom for his glory. Amen. In conclusion, in all three of these cases, we can learn something about the flesh and the effects that sin has upon it, and also the provision that is made through Christ Jesus. The man healed by Jesus beside the pool of Bethesda had no power to help himself or to change his condition. Those who live after the flesh are slaves to go and do and say anything their master wills. There is no power in the flesh to cease from sinning. The woman with the issue of blood had no power to be healed, either by herself or by the physicians. Her problem was that her body couldn't keep itself from losing the life-sustaining blood it needed to be whole. And the flesh cannot contain the life-sustaining spiritual things. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Trying to mix the flesh and the spirit is like trying to put a great treasure into a bag of holes. The treasure will be lost, mm -hmm. leaving the one bearing it weak. Finally, the gathering demoniac had no control over his mind. We stated this earlier today. He was subject to bondage, enslaved by the will of those possessing him. The flesh is a slave to sin and it cannot be otherwise. Mm -hmm. In order to cease from sinning, we must walk in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. It is only through walking in the Spirit that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Brethren, there is a man in heaven today working on our behalf to keep us unspotted by this world. He is the man, Christ Jesus, and he is our intercessor, our faithful high priest, our savior, and our brother. As we abide in him, we have confidence that we are acceptable and pleasing to God. And I'll close by reading 1 John Chapter 5, verses 18 through 21. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. Mm -hmm. And we know that we, are this, we, that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God has come and hath given us an understanding, that, this may, that we may know him that mm -hmm. is true, and we are in him that is true, even in the Son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. This is the true God and eternal life. Mm -hmm. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So I'll have a